It may not seem like it, but hip flexor exercises and hip flexor strength, functionality, flexibility, and mobility are incredibly important to a strong, healthy, pain-free lower back. And to understand why this contributes to a pain-free lower back, you kind of need to picture the lower back as a whole. So the back is a very complex system. We have so many muscles tugging on it, keeping it upright, strong, stable, and keeping it so that it can function, so it can bend this way, bend this way, bend forward, bend back. There's so many muscles connected to the lower back anatomy and the hip flexor muscles in the front are some of the biggest and most powerful. And if you're wondering, oh, are weak or tight hip flexors the reason I have back pain? The answer is maybe. The answer is actually probably. It's probably one of the many things contributing to your lower back problems. And it's just one of many things that could go wrong. So if you're looking for a total solution, check out my programs below or my tools to fix all these problems. All these videos I make are just on one thing in particular that could potentially be causing your back pain. No one video is probably gonna be the total solution, but if you watch enough videos or get the programs below, you'll be set. So back to the hip flexor exercises. The hip flexor muscles that we work when doing these exercises are really big, strong in the front of the body. The psoas and the iliacus are the two biggest, strongest, most powerful and also the biggest perpetrators of back pain when they're all jacked up weak and tight so those are what we're going to target here with hip flexor exercise and lastly before i get into the actual hip flexor exercise these muscles in the front of the body are some of the most common biggest perpetrators of back pain there are tools and programs on the market just stretching releasing strengthening them alone uh, but you need a whole total fix if you're looking for an actual back pain solution so so as an iliacus these two hip flexor muscles in the front they are gonna get tight when you sit all day and they're gonna get weak when you sit all day because they never get worked. They get worked when you run, when you do hip flexion exercises like pulling the knee to the chest, which we really don't do much beyond sports, which usually end at age 18 for us. So beyond that, these muscles usually get chronically weak, tight, stiff, and then they just wrench on the lower back, pull your pelvis forward, and put so much pressure here and cause back pain directly. So to combat some of these hip flexor problems, uh, one good hip flexor exercise that you can do anywhere is just a simple raising the knee, to the chest. And you wanna feel the pressure a little bit in the abs because you are contracting the abdominals here, but mostly in the hip flexor right on the crease of the hip. And to do this and get a really good contraction, like holding a pause at the top and doing this for about 25 reps on each leg. And it's really easy if you have a monkey foot that's an attachment, you can attach to your foot, add a dumbbell, or you can lay down and um, actually pull a cable which is another great way to work the hip flexors. But moral of this video, hip flexor exercises could be one of the many things that you need to do if you have back pain. Probably not the only thing, but definitely one part of the bigger picture. Uh, if you want a more total solution, check out my products below. If you want a tool that can release all the muscles that can contribute to back pain, check out QL Claw. It's the only tool out there that will do it, that will hit every muscle. That's why I made it the way it is. Uh, same with my flexibility and strengthening programs. Um, you might be able to stretch or strengthen one muscle from the videos you see on this, pro on this channel, but if you want the total fix, get those below. Stop messing around. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.